What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scythe the Manta Ray Killer, and we're back again for another trove. Trove, 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 patch notes. Yes, another week has gone by, another patch is out. This one, albeit, is a very, very small minor patch, but one thing that I do gotta point out before we actually start talking about the patch notes is they finally seem to have organized their patch notes to be a lot easier to read, so hopefully that's going to help a lot of people people out and you will notice in a moment. Now, before we start today's episode, of course, I humbly ask that you smack that like button. Let's destroy it and see how many likes we can actually get. Thanks to all you fine, beautiful people. And as my way of paying you all back for that, here's a special prize that we're going to be giving away is the beautiful George Torres that I got a couple episodes in a chaos chest. Now, the way that this thing looks, for those that don't know, it's this beautiful thing, which is absolutely amazing. The way that you can win this puppy, of course, is by already being subscribed to the channel, smacking the like button, and leaving a comment, and then I will choose somebody at random, let you know in the comment section, and then just keep an eye out for me and game, and I'll get you the prize as soon as possible. Now, without further ado, and we will explain this mantra in a bit, let's get to the patch notes, although they are very small this week. So, new adventure chests, get aboard the manta train. Green and blue manta rays are in the adventure chest now created by fried sushi so there's this one and then there is that one right there the balefire one i guess sure whatever these things are very strange but lots of people like them uh if you're trying to get your hands on one of these and you want to actually buy one in game too by the way i do gotta point out that because these things are fresh they're gonna be very overpriced but just wait till like next week and then you'll probably be able to pick one of these puppies up for very very cheap uh, next is the Chaos Chest loot has been shuffled. This week's potential prizes include the Mount, the Bone Weaver, the Arcanium Wings, uh, the Chaotic Clipper, which is a very great prize because it's one of the fastest boats, Mahogan Toboggan. Alright. Oh, that's a Mag Rider. Now, there is also new sails, which I haven't actually come across any of them because I don't do that much searching for them, but I know I'm going to have to because that's going to be a bunch of free mastery for your glim. So you're gonna yeah, wanna definitely hunt those things down. Let us actually take a quick little peek here. I want to see if they added any rarer sales. Yes, they did. They actually added diamond sales. Now, these are a cheap way of getting very fast mastery, by the way, because each of these costs about maybe 2k glim or something like that, and they actually give the exact same amount of mastery that they give from mounts. So that is one, two, three right there, as well as a couple gold ones, and well, there you go. We're already going to be set for that, so that's awesome. I'm going to definitely need to hunt for those as soon as I can. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's talking about the exact same thing I just said. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Three new mounts are also available in the store. These, where are they? Where are they? These ones, I'm not sure why they're a store object rather than an adventure mount one or something, but okay, whatever. Uh, but anyway, these guys were in Chaos Chess a couple weeks ago, and quite a few people were able to, were able to get them. I wasn't able to because I had to save up my chaos chest so that I could have a hundred and do another hundred video just like I'm saving up right now. Now we're already on bugs, fixes, and polish. Fixed a bug where the lock icon for abilities you couldn't use would go away if you rebound that ability's hotkey. We never ran into that because we don't change that many hotkeys because I find in general the hotkeys and setting up custom controls and stuff is just very buggy in general. Like, it's got a lot of problems. The Dragolite's familiar now dances when you do. Does he now? Woo! Woo! Oh, he just spins. <laughs> well, that's still pretty cool though at least. So at least we got a little bit of a partner with us. A dance partner, if you will. So that's cool. You can now type slash played to see how much time you have played Trove in total. Unfortunately, this only starts counting after this update, so ultimately it's pretty pointless until this game's been out for what? Another year or something like that? I, I don't know. But anyway, Dream Alight's boots are now the right color. I guess they were the incorrect color. That is the Dream Alight costume right there Mr. Awesome is using. Hello my friends, everybody is dancing. I like it. I like that little dragon dance. That's actually really cool. 
fix some client memory leaks, and then already we're on community creations, everybody. New bow styles and new hat styles, and there is a ton of them. So that's pretty cool that they keep accepting more and more submissions. Now, as far as today is concerned, that's pretty much it, everybody. I mean, I gotta go and start hunting for some of those sales and stuff like that off camera because I'm not gonna bother doing that on camera because it's a bit tedious. Uh, especially because you gotta find the right ship that actually sells them. Those are, of course, for those that do not know, they are in the ocean biomes. And you just gotta find them on these ships randomly. The ships do have a little bit of an indication as to whether or not they sell, like, one of the rarer items. So if you see a ship that has, like, purple sails and stuff like that, and a uh, robot bird with an eye patch, that means that it's going to sell one of the rarer things, which can be, like, the cat gadget, the hot dog mount, uh, wisdom stones, and stuff like that as opposed to if you find normal ones with blue and yellow sails those are going to be the ones that are shops wow we actually caught up to the world <laughs> that's terrible man what's going on okay ewok village 9000 but anyway uh that's already gonna be it so this is a very very short video ultimately a fairly pointless patch but still adding some cool stuff i think it would be neat if like, I, I don't know when they're gonna do it, but I think it would be really cool if they would kind of pull back and just do monthly updates from here on out, rather than these smaller ones. But I guess it keeps people excited. I mean, what do I know? I'm just the guy playing this game, right? But anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Good luck to somebody who's winning that beautiful mount. I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to smack that like button, share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. Sign on, stay epic, everybody. A side note that hopefully has been patched by the time this video comes out is I actually found a sail ship that covered most of the sails that I didn't already have, except for the Foolish Fish and the Much One and a couple other gold ones and stuff. But anyway, the Ladybug Sail and the Bee Sail, which I actually have in my inventory right now, and I do not have them unlocked, I can't use either of them. It says you already have this in your collection. So that's a pretty big bug that hopefully the devs will have squashed by the time this video comes out. Otherwise, just hang on to these sails until it does get resolved. Believe in yourself.